In this tutorial, we're going to learn about content and basically anything that makes up the site is content. Uh, this is a home page, so it's a basic page that makes up the site. Uh, if you come over to Bath here, or any one of the, the items, uh, there's a, this page is one of the things that make up the site, but also these items individually make up parts of the site and brought together through views, that's how this page is generated. Uh, and so if we come here, and there's various ways to access it, but to see items, we're going to look at uh, a couple of things. Um, this is the content that lists all the stuff for the website, from basic pages to items. Um, and you'll see there's a lot of pages that this fills up. Uh, but it, so it gives you a way to get to stuff. But you can also, uh, for this site, I created... Um, a special backend, and you have to write, you have to type it out uh, items, so it's slash items. And if you click that, it'll take you to a page where I created all the items in here, but you can see them. Uh, so, so this is all the items in furniture. You can see the titles here, and you can update it. Here you can pick what category, oh sorry, what line it falls in, the category, and by the, by what you select here, each page pulls out the information. So if this was actually not a cabinet but a chair, which it obviously is not, it'll it'll appear in the chair page and not the cabinet page. If you have a check in both, it'll appear in both. If there's a SKU number, you can always add it. If there's a finish, you can always add it. There's various things that you can add to each one of them, but every one of them has where you can add uh, an update. So this, we'll do a little bit more, um, another tutorial on this specific one, but this, are the, this is the content of the site and what makes up the site. And so there's various ways to see it. Uh, you can go to this basic page here by clicking it. If you never want to delete, you can edit. So you can go edit this page and it brings you to the editor, which you've seen in past tutorials. Um, you can view it and so you can see what page you're actually working on uh, so it's the design page and we've been here before so you can go to the about page uh, and all of these have layer sliders and i'll show you that in, a, in another tutorial uh, but here's information a button uh, and that's how these pages this content is made and so you can see it there you can see it here if you just want to see specific sub uh, like the types there so we just want to see basic pages you apply and this is a filter it just gives you a better uh, uh, a cleaner view and so it went down from the nine paginated pages to three of them because there's a lot of content on the site and so all the various pages that make up this site uh, wow. say we want to reset that and just see uh, what forms are in here and so we apply that and there's the one form, the contact form. And so we reset that. I think we use team. So we come here and click that and apply it. Nope, we didn't use team. So now that we know that we didn't use team. So I think the items, the web forms, and the basic pages, articles, maybe are just, let's apply that one. And there are, there's a couple of, there's a test, and, and that's where you can build up your blog if you want to. And so we'll reset that. We'll see everything. And this is one way to get to the various uh, pages of the site. You can navigate just normally, but this gives you a list view of all the information of all the content on the site. The items page is specifically so you can update, edit, delete items that make up all the various subcategories uh, that go into furniture, into cabinetry. And so that's the end of this tutorial.